Hey, a critical part of rank advancement is the Scoutmasters Conference. Hmm. Hey, Scouter Stan, you know the Scoutmasters Conference is almost exclusive to a troop because of the Scoutmaster. But it can be, the concepts can be used for packs and crews. So this, this, this can be used regardless. So if you're a den leader of a pack, in a pack, you can use these also. This totally fine. You may need to get the parents involved, and you will definitely need to do the too deep leadership, okay, when, it, when you're dealing with a pack. Now, in a troop, the scoutmaster or the assigned assistant scoutmaster who's doing that um, scoutmaster's conference will um, naturally do it in an open place where there are other leaders around. It's not done on stage, okay? This isn't something that's out for everybody to critique, okay? It's between the scoutmaster and the scout. So that being said, there are many uses for a conference not just rank advancement. But with that in mind, it's not a test. This isn't where the scoutmaster or assistant scoutmaster uh, has them uh, test them, uh, the, the scout, again on the scout skills or um, trying to get them to explain something uh, as far as a requirement. That's not really what, the, what it's about. A lot of times it's about getting to know the scout and to find out what their needs are. Um, this is all covered within the training that goes on with being a scout master. So if you're a scout master or an assistant scout master, definitely do training. Now it's okay if you're in a pack to go ahead and do the scout master training. Totally fine. Totally fine to do that. You can do that online. And it's pretty easy to do. So once you've once you have uh, those trainings down, uh, it will help you understand what a Scoutmasters conference is about. Now, a Scoutmaster conference primarily has been for rank advancement, but it's not the only reason to have a Scoutmasters conference. You could have a Scoutmasters conference if you've observed or have been told about behavior with a scout okay you can definitely say uh, scout insert name I need to see you okay that's a scoutmasters conference okay talking about an issue that was brought up whether it be a behavior okay or the showing signs of slowing down okay they were trugging along and they got the tenderfoot and all of a sudden second class came along and they stopped they stopped coming to meetings or they stopped uh, doing their achievements, that's a red red light, okay? You need to get them to a Scoutmasters conference, okay? And that's true in the pack, too. If they're, if they're going along fine, all of a sudden they sort of stop, you need to know. So have a meeting with the Scout. Um, you want to address issues if they come up, especially if they're uh, direct issues uh, with problems with upholding the Scout of and the scout law okay so that would be another reason for that there are many other reasons so say for instance you have a new scout who just joined the troop you could easily have a scoutmasters conference just to do an orientation find out you know what his his or her needs are uh, what their expectations would be um, on advancement these are things you could work out um, patrol placement could be done by doing uh, interviews or scoutmaster conferences to determine what would be a good match for a patrol. Um, there's all kinds of special special updates, you know, uh, if you had them working on a special project or uh, they are doing outside the units, um, they're doing work outside the unit, that could easily be a reason for a Scoutmaster's conference. These are great things that a Scoutmaster can do. Pack leaders, can, back leadership can also do it too. So 
look into it. I know that you do great work for scouting, and I know that your youth really appreciate what you do. So keep up the good work, and I will see you on the trail.